welcome to this Let's Talk Missions Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this week's video, we provide an overview of the various shape creation modes in Pointwise. The Draw Shapes panel can be accessed by clicking on the corresponding toolbar shortcut or selecting one of the corresponding shape types from the Draw Shapes submenu in the Create menu. At the top of the Draw Shapes panel, you will find the Entity Type frame where you can choose whether the shape created will be a database or source entity. In the Shape Type frame, there are buttons representing all of the shape types pointwise supports polygons, boxes, cylinders, and spheres. Simply click on one of the buttons to begin creating the corresponding shape. The Mode frame provides controls to specify the current mode Draw, Translate, Rotate, or scale. The role of each handle and their effect on the shape being created depends on the selected mode. You can quickly toggle between each mode using the D, T, R, or S keyboard shortcuts. The Draw Shapes panel always opens in the Draw mode. In this mode, you will be prompted to specify the control points needed to define the initial curve or surface to be extruded. This initial shape is referred to as the base. These control points can be specified by left clicking in the display window or expanding the point placement frame and using the corresponding XYZ entry field. You can drag the handles located at the center of the initial shape to extrude it into a volumetric solid. Once the base shape has been defined, then the corresponding transformation modes, translate, rotate, and scale become available to use. In the Translate mode, you can drag the provided handles to translate the shape being created in Cartesian space. The Rotate mode operates essentially the same as the Translate mode. You can drag the provided handles to rotate the base shape about the selected rotation axis. In the Scale mode, you can drag the provided handles to scale the shape being created. In each of these modes, you can choose between local and global coordinate systems via the corresponding radio buttons in the axis options. You can quickly toggle between the two coordinate systems using the capital T keyboard shortcut. There are also pivot options available where you can choose from either base, center, or top radio buttons to place the pivot point and handles at the center of the bottom face, center of the three-dimensional shape, or center of the top face, respectively. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us online down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.